I think all of us have seen over the last 10, 20, 30 years the change in energy cost. When fuel went up double two or three years ago, farmers were, having a, were hit the hardest because of their use of the fuel. People were hit hardest too. I think in the long term, the best way to maintain our standard of living here in the United States, which is to me is the best in the whole world, and I've been overseas, is to be, become once again the leader in renewable technologies, renewable energy, alternative fuels. This comes, the research comes from our state universities. We've got the best universities in the country right here in North Carolina. ASU has an uh, appropriate technology department that has 12, 1400 students in it and they touch on the wind, the solar, the waste, the alternative fuels, all that needs to be developed and we need to be producing those right here in the United States and reducing our environmental footprint. I believe we can maintain the quality of life we have if we do that. The, uh, we see, saw the Gulf spi oil spilling in the Gulf, but we don't see the air pollution that affects us as well. 500,000 cases of asthma every year in the country, and we all breathe the same air, and we need to clean it up so we can live longer, and that will reduce our long-term health care cost as well. So the government has a place to part to play in, to me it's more, it's more ideal when it's not a mandate, but an incentive of how you find that research in an unbiased sort of way, nonpartisan way, find the best, use the best science we have, and then figure out through tax incentive and motivation, which has to be looked at in the whole big picture, how we're going to replace oil as a, um, as a fuel for us. How are we going to, what is, you know, is ethanol going to be the next step? Uh, clean coal hadn't come around yet. All the energy sources we're looking at all have drawbacks. And if you look at the true cost, the long-term cost of all these energies, that's a more, it's a more sensible way to look at it. And uh, the lung and asthma rate is, is a cost that's not being borne by our coal-fired plants. So we need to keep that technology going so education and proper funding of education and research is key to that. And then we need that to be looking at how we can create jobs here in the 5th District in North Carolina that will help us move forward in, this, in the next 21st century. We need to be the leader in the world in these. We need to not be buying all our, our energy stuff from Germany or China. We need to be producing it right here and setting the example and making those products here and sending them overseas from here. Then those jobs will be here. The middle class will grow. All businesses will succeed and do better when they have a viable middle class. So we've got a huge market here and we need to maintain people's affordable living. And farmers are a huge part of that. So as farmers can make the um, products and the help the energy question, we can all benefit from that. So, thank you. Any other